Gatekeepers, we are live at Maple Six Feet Under. Woo, it's scary. It's also really noisy in there, so which is why we came out here. So we are here, Maple Six Feet Under. We're about to open. This is my other life where I produce this wacky event. It's a nonprofit actually. It's one of the ways I give back by producing events for nonprofits. This is a nonprofit haunted house. I don't know if you can see the sign. Maple! Mabel's a sweet little girl. She gets everybody lost. But I'm not here to talk about Mabel's Six Feet Under. I'm here to talk about why being, let's see if you can see me, why being a, look at the skull in the background, that's so cool. Why being a reader makes being a writer less scary. See what we did there? Okay, yeah. So we've been talking a lot about um, kind of topics that might help you. And we have the, as you know, this coming Saturday at noon, Hollywood Mabel time we have um, a workshop coming up so I'm a little distracted sorry so we um, wanted to make sure that you knew that and also we want to kind of just think of some topics that you can see kind of some of the things that we talk about so some of the ways that being a reader helps you if you're a writer three my lord is a joke that I make all the time like way too often is three my lord pick number three you should get that reference if you're involved in movies um, uh, one of the ways it helps you is that there's a thing called slipping your script in and I don't mean that you slip your script to a producer but you can slip your script into all the scripts that you're reading so you have a file of 20 scripts you have to get read you read 10 then you read yours then you read 10 more and your problems with your script will jump out at you kind of like scary haunt jumps out at you see what I did there so yeah you can hear the thunder there's thunder and lightning <laughs> so yeah, so that's one of the ways that being a reader helps with your writing is that you're just reading people's screen work all the time. And the other thing, <laughs> the other thing is that um, you will see your level of writing will become so clear to you. So either you'll be like, oh, wow, that really made me feel better. Reading that script made me go, woo, yeah, that was really bad. And actually, I'm doing okay. Or it's like you get really inspired and you go, wow, that was so great. And it really like, inspires you and raises the bar for your own writing. So, um, yeah, Doug's here with me. He's actually, but I'm not going to show you because he's behind the scenes. <laughs> so that's another thing that happens is that, um, you can really see where you need to work. You can, you get inspired by someone's writing in, in terms of it being like, wow, their dialogue was really good. I need to up my game or, you know, that kind of thing. And then, um, the third thing is just the connections that you make. You make so many connections and like you can do things like you you can go to Pitch Fest and you can take pitches for people that are trying to get your script, their script to production companies. So if you're reading for a production company, you can represent that production company at a Pitch Fest and you can sit there and people come and it's like speed dating. It's really kind of horrendous. But it's like speed dating and they get like three minutes or something to tell you their story, their screenplay story. So you can like decide if this is something that you should take back to your company that you work for. But Meanwhile, while you're at the pitch fest and there's 40 companies that are taking pitches, you're on this side of the table, right? So you're able to get to know all of those people taking pitches from all these different companies. And you can kind of, and you hang out a little bit in between and you get breaks and whatever and you usually have your own green room. You kind of get to hang out with people that work for other production companies, which comes in very handy when you're starting to work on your own projects. So that's just three and there's many, many more ways. We have a whole module in our course that's just about being a writer so that's a whole bonus that we offer in our paid course so like i say over and over on here there are so many ways you can get involved in hollywood gatekeepers this on this page you can join our mailing list and you can join our private facebook group and this video also plays in there i shared this over there too but we do other stuff in the private facebook group too we're a little more engaged in there and then we have a paid course we, oh well then we have the free workshop actually before that which is this coming saturday where we you end up with enough tools we're hoping from that course you should be able to actually get started if you want as a reader so and that's that's in I'm sorry did I say paid in the free workshop this Saturday at noon at the end of that you will end up with enough things to be able to get started if you want but then we also have a paid course where we dive really deep and then we 
compress all the time that it would take you to get started on your own by really diving deep and showing you how to do it, having a whole module like about if you're a reader, having a whole module from the actor's perspective, like having a whole, an actual case study that we are working on of a project that has been brought to us that we are actually producing so you can kind of see the real process of something that comes in a very, very raw form and is getting pup, uh, produced. So you get all of that as part of the paid course. So join us 12. You can register. I'll stick the link below so you can register and uh, join us at noon on Saturday. And there was Doug. Did you see him? I bet you didn't because I'm really cheeky. Okay, and now we're going to go. I'm going to go into the haunt. I'm walking. It's very scary. And I'm going to go to Mabel Six Feet Under. I will be there. It's in Anaheim, California. And uh, I'm one of the producers, so I stand at the door and greet people. And I'll show you that again. Me and my buddy, the skeleton. We will be here. So thanks for joining. Hopefully I will see you on Saturday. Green Lord. Right. Bye guys.